More news updates coming in confirming Manchester United's interest in Yusuf Afana, a player they tried to sign last year. But what's the latest on that? Because apparently Man United are trying to hijack the deal, but they've got to move quick. United step set to step up and advance for Yusuf Fafana like they did with Xerxy. What is the latest on the midfield plan? Sagati, Subamendi, more. Two loan exits to be confirmed. Two players are set to go out on loan. That has essentially been confirmed. Casemiro, Bruno, Sancho, exit talks have been there, but who's like to leave out of those players? Mazarawi has also been linked to Manchester United. And what is a £15 million, pound, I think it's like £12 million pound bargain deal with wan Basaka maybe going the other way among more stories. So hello and welcome back to Alice Talks Football and welcome back to your 10-minute Manchester United transfer news roundup where I keep you guys up to date on all the latest Manchester United news, transfers, updates and more going about. Please do that like button and of course subscribe down below if you're new. So earlier today we covered this story from Sky that Yusuf Afana is, a, is another option in midfield for United and I said well hmm this is an interesting story. I know we like the player. I know we tried to sign him last year. We'll have to see what other sources say. Uh, but this is a player that I know from a source that I have that United have watched and kept an eye on. He's definitely a player of interest. I still think Agate is the number one and we're linking ourselves to a lot of midfielders lately to maybe get PSG to lower Agate. But it was a player of interest. Now, we've got some more reports coming in and more journalists and more reporters and even for Rich Romano linking us to this guy, confirming interest about this guy. So it was said that Fafana's camp have been trying to bring him to United for a long time and Manchester United have inquired lately. A deal could be struck with Monaco for 18 million euros. So Man United have been interested in Fafana for a while. We were really interested in him last year. We looked at him back in April. Then it's been quiet. We looked at Xerxes back in like February. Then it went quiet and we didn't get linked to Xerxes for ages. And then we actually signed him. Could it be a similar situation where we were looking at Fafana? It's been quiet for a few months. He's got a deal done with AC Milan. We think it's not going to happen. And we could go back in for him. There's obviously been an offer there from Fafana's a hierarchy. They've offered him to United. There's obviously a final offer there. They've offered him to us to buy. Potentially, there could be a move. Now, other sources are saying that Monaco are not willing to entertain offers below 35 million euros for Fafana, which is about 28 million pounds. But considering he's got one year left on this deal, there's an expectation a deal could probably be done for 20 to 25 million pounds. So they don't want to lose him for free. And it was said that Manchester United and Atletico Madrid are now reportedly trying to hijack his deal to AC Milan. Now, could we do what we did with Xerxes? To Romano and to Ornstein says that I always say take every bit of news of a pinch of salt. But Romano was one of the last people to say about Xerxes to United. There was a lot of reports saying that United were going to hijack Xerxes. And Romano didn't really add much more information. He said that Xerxes is still favourite to go to AC Milan. And we ended up getting Xerxes. But there's now reports coming out that we're going to try and hijack the deal. And if we are going to try and hijack the deal, we've got to move quick. I mean, this week, these coming days, these coming hours. So... If there is anything in this Yusuf Afana news, it's going to come in the next couple of hours, next couple of days. So make sure you subscribe to that post notification bell on to see what happens with Afana. But we've been offered a chance to sign him. We like the guy. He's going to be going for cheap. He's a very good player. When I did my dream Manchester United realistic signings, Yusuf Afana was in my midfield picks. If you've been following my channel, you know that I've won us to got Matt Sweet for Yusuf Afana for a while. They were my two ideal midfield choices. I've been saying that many times. I think Yusuf Afana is the perfect midfield signing for United when you look at value for money, his legs, his athleticism. I think he would be a brilliant addition. I really hope you get it done. Romano obviously said on the case that Manchester United do appreciate Fafana. Again, he is confirming do like this guy. But AC Milan are in the lead, having agreed personal terms, nothing's advanced. This is the exact same situation with Xerxes. Romano said we appreciated Xerxes, but AC Milan have agreed uh, personal terms. They're in the lead, nothing's advanced with United and Xerxes. Bosch, we got Xerxes. It was then said by other sources like Romano that Xerxes' priority is AC Milan. And then Man United ended up getting Xerxes. There was a lot of stuff that... Romano said about Xerxes to Milan that happened. Now, to be honest, I would say that Fafana is probably still more AC Milan bound because we haven't got any confirmation on David Ornstein or Romano saying we've put in a bid or we've opened talks. But I do think if we're going to get uh, Fafana, there's going to be some major developments in the next 48 hours. So make sure you're subscribed for that. Now, I think one of the things that's slowing maybe Man United down a little bit in the market, having moved quickly for Euro and um, Xerxes, is of course the outs, the exits. Now, the permanent exits are what we need to do, but we have got some loan exits being confirmed by the Manchester Evening News that Vitek and striker Joe Hugo are set to depart Manchester United on loan after a, getting a chance on the club's pre-season tour of the States. So we're set to give them a chance on the pre-season tour of the States, and then we're going to let both those players depart on loan. Joe Hugo has apparently learned a lot working with Ruban this a good striker probably won't make it at United but I think there's definitely foundations for him to be a good striker and Vitek looked really good um 
like Kovar, but obviously not going to get a chance to United, so he's set to leave on loan. Those players will set to leave on loan in August. Now, another player that's expected to leave Manchester United, but United are acting like they're happy to keep him and that, you know, it's up in the air if he stays or goes, but I do think he will leave Manchester United, is Jadon Sancho. It's said that PSG has included Jadon Sancho on their shortlist as one of their names for the winger position. However, it depends on what Manchester United want to do with him. So, obviously, PSG likes Sancho. We know from Santi, a very reliable source, as we reported earlier today, that PSG have inquired about Sancho, spoke to Sancho's agent, got information from Sancho's side to say, yep, Sancho will be open to joining PSG. I think considering that Amai Garnacho and Rashford are high, higher rated than Sancho and Anthony is probably going to stay because we can't sell him and we may be bringing in the likes of Xavi Simmons, I think potentially Xavi Simmons one way, Sancho the other way could be a potential do deal we could look at doing with PSG. But I also think with Agate and us looking at other PSG players, I do think that potentially we're open to selling Sancho. I think we're going to act like we're more than happy to keep Sancho because we know there's a £40 million pound player there, but no one's going to give us £40 million because they think we're desperate to sell him. So I think we're going to act like we're very interested in keeping Sancho, but I think that Sancho will go to Juventus or PSG and I think he'll go for £35 million pounds, and then I think that money will be invested in other positions. Romana did say, and we covered this in the late night roundup last night, that Manchester United still intend to sign a left back, but they will leave that right until the end of the window. Probably someone on low like Regilon who's been left out of pre-season tour a centre-back and an, another midfielder. So they want another centre-back and midfielder and a left-back. Uh, it could largely, largely depend on outs, but he's saying that that's what Man United want to do. But potentially, if Sancho sold, we maybe move for an attacker. Xavi Simmons, Pedro Neto, Desiree Due, etc. In terms of other exit, it was said by Sky that as it stands, Casemiro is likely to stay at United this summer. What seems like he was going to move to Saudi, and Fabrizio Romano himself seemed very confident that Casemiro was going to move to Saudi and he was going to be playing Saudi Arabia next season, has sort of died down. It looks like he's probably going to stay at United, but you never know with Saudi making late new moves in August. It was also said that PSG are not working on a deal for Bruno Fernandes because they're focused on Jao Neves. Considering they want Austin Hem, they want a winger and they want Jao Neves, I don't think they're going to have the funds for Bruno Fernandes. I'm going to be honest, and I think Bruno will stay. He said if Bruno stays at Man United, he'll be given a new contract. And what is the latest on the right-back situation? Because there's quite a few stories coming in in Mass Rowie to Manchester United. We were linked with Vanderson and Fringpom earlier today. We've been linked with Ferdy earlier on. Now, Florian Plettyberg, Pletty Goal, he's a very reliable source of information. He gets a lot right. He's a very good journalist in regards to United. And he said that Manchester United are exploring a Mass Rowie option who could be available to leave for 15 to 20 million euros. So we could be getting him for 15 million pounds Obviously, a Moroccan player, but formerly at Ajax, worked well under Tenog, and a very good season under Tenog, is a good fullback. A different dynamic to wan so that's the question mark around it, but it's very obvious we want to go more attacking. Bayern originally wanted €30 million Euros for Masraoui, but now are pushing for €20 million Euros for him. A realistic price is probably fifteen to €20 million. Euros. So I reckon we could get this guy in the £15 million range if wan leaves. But I think Man United are expecting maybe Juan Bissaka will go because he's got one year left on his contract. Man United are trying to offload Juan Bissaka because they don't want to lose him for free, considering we spent 50 million for him, which is totally fair. It's very obvious that United don't want to, you know, completely lose Juan Bissaka for free. It was said that Masrawi is one of a number of right backs Manchester United are considering too. They are also keeping an eye on Monaco's Vanderson and Bayer Leverkusen's Frimpong. Now, Frimpong isn't so much a right back these days. But I believe that these are the three names you're looking at because we've been linked to them in the past. They're very good players. They're very Ineos type players. But again, it will all depend on what happens with Bamba Saka, if we're going to be honest. What else was said in regards to Mats Rowie? Because obviously it depends on Wamba Saka. Manchester United have lowered their demands for Wamba Saka to 10 million. Now I think we can get 15 million for Wamba Saka. I, I, if we don't get 15 million pounds for Juan Bissaka, I know with one left in this deal, I'd be shocked. He's such a unique profile. He would improve every single squad. He even improved Manchester City with Juan Bissaka because as a backup option at right back in those big games, he can shut off any flank. I think we could get 15 million for him at least. 10 million, I think, is quite low. And they said that West Ham obviously pushing to, uh, West Ham are seriously considering pushing to sign him if a deal with Masrawi should not Masrawi should not work out. I really can't say his name. My mouth doesn't want to pronounce it right. So West Ham are looking at other options to Wan-Bissaka and now we're lowering the price for Wan-Bissaka. It was said that Wan-Bissaka um, a, a key for a possible deal if we do want to sign Mats Rowe, um as well. But West Ham are looking at Mats Rowe if they can't get him to go for Wan-Bissaka, which means we may go for Mats Rowe, who would probably pick us over West Ham 
But we can't say, oh, we'll sign you if West Ham buy wan Bissaka, so reject West Ham. We can't really say that to him. It was also said that Manchester United are expecting offers for wan Bissaka and in a position to act if a suitable offer comes. United have looked at a number of players, of course, including Vanderson, Levick, uh, Vanderson and by Leverkusen's Frimpong. So it's very obvious that Man United are in the right-back market. So I think with Manchester United, we could make a loan option for Regilon or a late uh, left-back on loan. I think we will sign another centre-back, but that might depend on the departure of other players. I think we will sign a midfielder, depending on departures to midfielders. And I think if Wan-Bissaka goes, we'll sign a right-back. Thank you for watching today's update. Thanks. Smash the like button. Subscribe if you're new. See you next time. Bye.